when you're restoring an old classic automobile or possibly it might be a late automobile and you want to do the job right you got to know what you're doing to do the job right now the car we're working on here or should I say the doors uh, we're going to use these as an example these are off of a 1965 Pontiac Le Mans and the car is 50 years old and it's been parked out in the state of Nevada for many many years so it's basically a rust free car there's some rust on the rear quarter panel but other than that it's got a lot of surface rust on it now the way that we're going to remove that surface rust and if you look real close at these doors you can basically see they've already been stripped down to bare metal now what we did is we had these cars soda blasted and when we had the doors soda blasted it removed all of the old paint all of the primer and if you look real close it even removed a lot of the seam sealer now the reason you see the original paint here is because we didn't take the rubber off so when they soda blasted them of course the soda didn't get into where the rubber was but you can see here's some of the residue that's left over from the soda blasting itself now if you look at the door shells you can see there is surface rust on the door shells after it's been soda blasted now we did take these to the car wash and when I say these, I'm talking about the whole car, but we're going to go ahead and focus on this to show you this little video set of how to remove your rust off of your metal. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. So we did have the whole car soda blasted and once I had the soda blasted I went straight to the car wash and I washed as much of the soda off that I could get off of the car but there's still a residue of soda on it and also besides that we got surface rust that we need to remove and the way that we're going to do that is not with some hokey pokey chemical that you can buy over the counter but we're going to get right down to the core of things and I'm going to show you exactly what to use to remove the rust off of the vehicle. And if you look right here, I got a gallon of muriatic acid that I purchased over at my local big box hardware store. Um, this was approximately $10 for this and it's very highly dangerous. I'm going to tell you right now, this is a dangerous chemical to work with. You should always wear safety glasses and rubber gloves and if you're not working in a uh, open area like we're doing right here make sure that you're wearing a good respirator so you don't breathe in the toxic fumes because once this chemical and let me show you something you can see right there all right once this chemical hits that metal it turns into a dangerous chemical toxic that we don't want to breathe so let me show you what we're going to do to remove the rust that's on these doors and then once we do that we're going to clean the metal off and get it down to the purities that we need so we can continue our restoration so what I have right here is a throwaway brush I got a plastic mixing cup and there's also some uh, muriatic acid already in this cup from using it on other body parts on the vehicle but I'm going to go ahead and pour some more in here just like that and once again I want to stress you got to be very very careful with this product and do not be sloppy with it if this gets on your skin it will burn if it gets on your eyeballs it will burn if it gets on your clothes it will penetrate into the cloth and burn your skin if you get hit with this acid or if any of this acid gets on you always rinse yourself thoroughly with fresh water and that will kill the acid from harming you anymore so what we're going to do is we're going to take our throwaway brush with our muriatic acid and that is 100 percent i did not dilute it and we're going to go ahead and brush it on just in the areas where we see surface rust that's it we're not going to brush the whole car with it just where the surface rust is I can already smell 
the acid as I'm brushing it on. And we got to do this door inside and out. So once I get done with the inside of this, I'm going to go ahead and do the outside of the door as well. Now what we're doing here is the bottom of the door and this is where most of the surface rust is going to be on a door. Um, when you go to restore it, it's going to be down on the bottom where a lot of moisture and dirt is trapped. So you really want to make sure you get that really good. And then if we look at this door, this is the other door, look at the hinges on this and look at uh, the areas that I'm brushing, you can see that this door has more surface rust on it than the previous door. So we're going to go ahead and get all this area very, very good, especially around these hinges. We definitely don't want that to rot out. Now by using the muriatic acid, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you, the acid will eat the rust out. This is the best way that I have found in 38 years of being in business and longer than that doing this that you can remove the rust pretty much 80 to 90 percent where it's completely gone. And this type of job is a time consuming job. It's not going to happen in five or ten minutes. To really do these doors right is going to take approximately two to three hours. Uh, it's very, very labor consuming and time consuming when you're doing this. We'll go ahead and get this area here one more time. And you're going to notice as I'm doing this and we're going back over it that you're going to see where the metal is starting to really clean up. Um, this acid that I'm using right here, this brand, I'm not really happy with it because it seems like it's a weaker substance than other brands that I've purchased and that's just a sign that uh, chemicals of today are not like they used to be um, 10 years ago let's say but if you notice I'm not really doing the whole door I'm just getting it where I see surface rust that's it we're just gonna put the acid where the heavy rust is that's all we're doing now, if this was rust that was actually breaking through the metal and rotting out, we would be wasting our time. This is not good for rotted out rust. Another thing that we could do if we wanted to is we can spot sandblast these to remove some of the rust, but I don't want to use any sandblasting. Um, and this here way, like I said earlier, previously, I'm going to go ahead and repeat myself, is the best way that I have found to actually remove the surface rust chemically. Look real close as I put the acid onto it. You can see where it's starting to bubble up and eat the rust away. Now that the acid has been sitting on the rust for approximately 10 to 15 minutes, uh, you can see that it's already dry. I'm gonna go ahead and apply one more coat and once again, I'm just putting it where the surface rust is. That's it. I'm not doing the whole car. And then, while it's wet, I'm going to take this steel wool brush here. And I'm going to go ahead and steel wool the areas where the rust is. I'm going to be very careful. Looky here. Okay. I'll be very careful not to splash this on me or anything else. And I also advise that when you do this, thank you for being fucking loud. Um, when you do this, do this by yourself and don't have a lot of people around because, like, once again, this is very dangerous. Now, what I do when I run into a heavy surface rusted area, kind of like what you're looking at in these two areas here, I take my uh, small grinder, and this is a two-inch roller lock disc, but I want you to look at that real close. You can see that it's been used and abused, so it's a, a worn-out one. Uh, it's not brand new. And then what I'll do 
is I will grind down just the rusted areas only that I see. And then once I do that, we'll go ahead and take our muriatic acid again and we'll put it on those areas just like that. And then we're going to go around the door or car, whatever you're working on. And we're going to go ahead and take our steel wool brush again. And this is a very, very important area that we're working on right here. This is uh, the top of the door where it's painted. <laughs> Just working our way around the door using our muriatic acid only on the rusted areas, not the whole door. Very important to remember that. Now that we've completely prepped all the rust with our muriatic acid, we're going to go ahead and set that to the side. And what we're going to do now is we're going to get our vinegar out. Now this is a high grade vinegar. I purchased it at the same big box hardware store you know who I'm talking about this is not the same vinegar that you would purchase in a grocery store uh, this is a higher grade and they call it the weed slayer so it must be made for killing weeds I don't know but I went ahead and mix this with water uh, three parts vinegar one part water now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash our doors off using the vinegar water mix to completely remove all of the rust and to, I'm sorry, to completely move all of the acid off of the vehicle or the doors like we're working on here and to clean the metal to the purity for restoration. And before we go ahead and put our vinegar water on, I want to go ahead and walk around and show you. If you remember right, this sill right here was full of surface rust. It's gone. We had a bunch of surface rust in this area. If you remember correctly, it's gone. We went ahead and used our doll out grinding pad. Look what happened here. Rust is gone. We're going to walk around here. I missed this area here. I'll go back and get that area right there using my steel wool pad and also my uh, steel brush. And then, of course, this door here was in real bad condition. You can see where I put some more acid on it right here. No, I haven't put any more acid on it. I need to. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put some more acid on that. And then while we're working on this door, by the time we get done with it, that acid will be dry, ready for removal. You can see the film that the acid leaves. Very important that you remove that. But if you look at this door where we had all that bad rust, look at this. Really, really nice. Came out good. This one, the rust was really, really bad on the bottom of it. You can see that it cleaned it up really, really nice. And now it's time to go ahead and apply our vinegar water. So before I do that, I want to come back over here. I want to put one more coat of muriatic acid on this door here. This one was in a little worse shape than that one. So we're going to go ahead and just get one more coat on this right here. All right, so I got my vinegar water mixed up in this bucket right here. You can see I didn't really mix a lot, um, just enough that I'm going to use. And this is where you really want to use your gloves because this stuff will get on your skin and then you'll smell like a douche. If anybody knows what a douche is, you'll smell like a douche all day. I'm sure you've heard the expression douche bag. Well, if you don't know what it is, check it out. So I'm taking my steel wool with my vinegar cleaner and I'm doing the whole door with the vinegar. And I'm telling you, when you see this, you're really, really going to be shocked at what it looks like when it's done. And believe it or not, the vinegar, the vinegar, the chemical in the vinegar will help kill the rust along with the acid. Um, the acid is going to be the more stronger of the two chemicals. That's why we're not using it on the whole door and we're just using it where the rust is. That's it. 
but I think when you see this, you're really going to be shocked at how clean the metal is by taking your time and doing it right. It looks like this door here, uh, the acid has dried on it. You can see where all the white scum is. We're going to go ahead and apply our vinegar water to this door, uh, repeating our process and killing the acid and actually helping kill the rust on our vehicle. Now I will say if it's some very thick rust, it's not going to remove all your rust. But what it will do, it will kill the rust so the rust will not come back. And that's what our main objective is here, is to kill the rust and remove all the soda off the vehicle. Very important. The last and final step of removing the rust and cleaning our metal for preparation is we're going to take a hose with fresh water in it. Now I want to let everybody know this has been sitting for approximately 25-30 minutes. We're going to take a hose and we're going to take a brand new piece of wool. This is coarse steel wool that I'm using and we're going to scrub it down using our water hose with fresh water and our steel wool. So we're going to go ahead and wet the door down and as we're wetting it we want to scrub it and do not use the same steel wool that you use to apply the vinegar with. You want to use a brand new piece of steel wool. And it's very important that you steel wool it down everywhere. Now this is the door that had the most rust on it. If you remember correctly, this door jam was full of very thick surface rust. We're going to take a look at it here in a minute and see how it turned out. Now if you let these air dry, what's going to happen, it's going to leave an orange film on it. Um, so what I like to do, just to help the process and speed it up, and we don't have that real thick orange uh, film that the vinegar leaves behind, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's not hurting anything, it's not rusting, that's just the chemical reaction with metal and uh, vinegar. But what I like to do is I like to take paper towels and I basically get all the water off of them so it will leave a minor orange coat on it instead of a real thick orange coat. And that's what I'm doing now is just helping this dry, I'm helping the process so we don't have a orange film on our metal. This, and you can see this door here is starting to dry really well in the sun. And if you look close, you can see kind of the orange uh, film that I was telling you about. So it's better to go back and wipe it off. You can see right here, look at that. All right. That's the film that the vinegar leaves behind. It's not going to hurt anything. It's not going to do anything wrong. It's just the film that is left behind. All right, uh, I have the inside of the doors done. I'm going to repeat my process. I'm going to turn the doors over, repeat my process on the outside of the doors, and then once we get these doors completely done, we're going to come back. We're going to look at the doors. We're going to look at the fenders. I'm going to show you what we're talking about by using your muriatic acid on the surface rust only and then going over it with vinegar water. Muriatic acid is an important situation and it works very, very well, but you got to know how to contain it and you got to know how to use it. And that's what my friend Pete's here for, is to show you that muriatic acid will kill the rust if you do it the right way. I went ahead and did the whole car. Um, I was gonna go ahead and stop at the fenders here and show you how nice they came out. Let's take a look at that. You can see how clean the metal is. That is about the purest you're going to get right there if you do it the way that I am showing you how to do it. And, and then we got the whole car right here. I went ahead and did that. Now on the back quarter panel, you can see down here it's rotted out. Uh, it's all dented in this corner and then it goes all the way over to here. So we're going to replace that whole section there. 
that's why I'm not worried about that. But you can see how clean the metal came out. I even did the dashboard. There's some of the little parts right there. And the deck lid was really, really seriously bad. It had a lot of surface rust on it. I'm surprised it came out that clean. I was really shocked. Um, if you would have saw it before we started this, you would have agreed with me. But uh, we'll be able to clean that up and still use it uh, with a little more work involved. But uh, it will be done. And the tail light panel came out really, really nice. If we come over here, you can see the side of this car here it looks really great. Uh, once again, we're going to replace that bottom section down there. So I'm not worried about that. But this is what it should look like right here. Now, let me show you the difference here. This is galvanized steel. And you can see the difference. Um, so if it looks like this right here where it looks silver instead of regular metal, that means it's galvanized steel. So remember that. Most of the rocker panels on these cars were galvanized steel. And then I noticed on the Pontiacs and the General Motor products, these were galvanized steel as well. And then if we look over here, here's the doors. This is where we started. Um, I think they came out really, really nice. We got rid of a lot of rust. We got rid of a lot of rust. And it's a done deal. I will say this was an all-day job. And it is now ready to DA sand with 180 or 80 grit. I'm sorry. We're going to DA sand this whole thing with 80 grit. And normally, if I was going to set it aside, I would put it in epoxy primer. But I am not going to put this in epoxy primer because we're going to jump right on this and get all the body work done. And hopefully this car is going to be beautiful when we are done. So this is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete over here at DIY Auto School. Giving you lessons long at that. A lot of people are starting to bitch because my videos are too fucking long. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't give a shit. Because if I'm going to teach you how to do something, i got to go through the steps and procedures that it takes to do it. And if you think I'm boring, or you think that this video is too long, or it's being drug out, then go somewhere else. It's not like I'm making a million motherfucking dollars a month on YouTube making these fucking videos. I can tell you that, and that's a fact. So this is Pete again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this all wrapped up. I started on this at 6 o'clock this morning, 7 o'clock. It's now 6.30 at night. All day from job. And uh, back on it in the morning. Take it easy. This is Pete. Using acid and vinegar to clean my metal and get rid of rust. Now, one thing I do want to go ahead and explain to you before we go, um, you're probably looking at it saying, well, I, I see that it's starting to rust out. That is not rust, once again. That is a film that you will get from the vinegar. Once you DSA on that, that will be gone. You can wash this thing for six hours. Doesn't matter. It's going to leave a very, very thin film from the vinegar. That means it did its job. So don't fret about that. We got to go. Take it easy. And then, after you have done all your prep work, all your body work, you went through the painstaking months after months after days after hours of block sanding and, and sanding again and repriming. This is how it should turn out. These are the doors that we cleaned off with our neuratic acid. You can see how beautiful the door jams look inside. Um, I don't remember which door was the worst, but they were both very, very bad condition. If Minnie the Body Shop girl can bring the camera over here, got to wrap this video up. It's getting really long. And people are bitching because I'm, my videos are getting to be too long. So, but uh, this is uh, the factory color for this 1965 GTO. And you can see how beautiful it looks. Let's go look at the car. Uh, we just got done looking at it in bare metal. Now we're going to look at it painted. And this right here, this was our galvanized steel that we looked at. There's our galvanized rocker panel. Here's our quarter panels. 
They came out beautiful. If you look right here, we went ahead and painted this thing inside and out. It's a beautiful car. It's a car that's worthy, but uh, we replaced this quarter panel here all the way to this section. If you remember in the previous here, when we were looking at it earlier, so this is the car, this is what you get if you follow my friend Pete's videos. That's the only way this is going to happen. You've got to watch, listen, and learn to the situation. Uh, this little project here is approximately what, seven or eight months? Something like that. Painstaking job, very big car. We got the dashboard, we went ahead and painted it. Uh, semi-gloss, flat black, whatever you want to call it. This is semi-gloss, not flat. So it came out good. We got our inside pillars painted white. The top of the doors here, they'll transfer right into the white on the back of the quarter panel section. Uh, I went ahead and painted all this in here because when the convertible top's down, you'll be able to see all this edge. And it really, really came out nice. I'm really happy with it. And it's a job that I can be proud to say I did. So that's basically all we got to say about using our muriatic acid the right proper way, cleaning it off with vinegar water, and prepping the metal properly. I want to make something real, real clear before I go. There's a lot of people out there that says, you can't leave cars sit in bare metal. The only time you can't leave a car sit in bare metal is when you have it sandblasted. That's it. If you hand strip it or you have it soda blasted, you still got the factory etching that is on the vehicle and it will not rust out as long as it is stored and worked on in a dry environment. So don't let anybody fool you on that. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. This car sat for about 30 years before I restored it. And I think it really came out nice. Mainly the body shop girl. Looking good. And that's all you got to say about it. Yeah, it looks great. And I'm glad that it's one step closer to going home. I'm just letting everybody out there know that's watching this video. Mainly the body shop girl is a girl. And this is actually going to his wife as an anniversary present. Uh, 25th or 28th anniversary. If you want to stand over here, we can look at the car, please. Many of the body shop girl, as we're talking, thank you. And uh, what do you think of that angle? She doesn't know anything about this. I think that's a pretty nice surprise present. Yeah, Too bad nice. I had never gotten nothing like that. You've gotten a lot of stuff. I ain't never got, got a car a like that. Yeah, you got. Oh some, well, you did buy you me. Got a, some property in Moab. You did buy me a truck. You got on a nice, beautiful. You got a nice, beautiful view of you, the mountains yeah. when you wake up every morning. You remember when you surprised me with that yeah. truck? Got yeah. it. The, the gas hog, yeah. Durango, or whatever it was. Yeah. yeah. I remember. All right, we got to go. This is Pete, my friend Pete, using muriatic acid and vinegar to the extent of saying this car is done. It's a done deal. Many of the body shop girl. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.